what can you see right now? Uh, nothing now. Nothing now. Everybody ready? Okay. So three, two, one, start stimulation. Yes. Yeah. Can you see? Oh my goodness. Wow, can what you see, Larry? Yes. Oh yeah. my goodness. Can I give him a kiss? Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Can you really see? Yes. Oh She's my flashing. goodness. Big time flashing. They're flashing? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's oh, so yeah. cool. Larry Hester, 66, has been blind for half his life from a condition called retinitis pigmentosa. In September, an electronic stimulator was surgically implanted in his left eye. On October 1st, Duke eye surgeon Dr. Paul Hahn turned it on for the first time. So the journey is just beginning. This is day one of hopefully the rest of his life. Um, I think turning this device on allows him to experience a whole new world. And it's not vision as we traditionally know it, but it's a whole new type of vision for him. Are they uglies? Is that what they are? They are. They are. They are. <laughs> Only the coolest from Hahn. That's right. <laughs> it was incredible. It was bright and it was significant. And I, I just had to take a deep breath, and I was just, it, it was hard to articulate what I was feeling, but I wanted to share it with everybody I could grab at the time and hug. Thank you for this opportunity for Larry to see a little bit again. Uh, these patients have been essentially living in blackness in, in most cases for many, many years. And so what this is doing is almost, if you could imagine, um, almost a, a, a pixelated uh, type of vision where they are getting stimulated with flashes of light when they perceive something that's bright and when they, their camera is picking up something that is darker then, then they get less flashes of light. Yeah. Yeah. Look, you did it. You went right to it. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. That's pretty cool. Huh? Go, wow. I mean, that's, that's significant right there. Wow, that's, that's cool. That's great. That's amazing. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? That is it's only going to get better, you know it? Hold on, i got to do that. <laughs> so the patient uh, essentially has to try to determine what those flashes of light mean. And, and in many cases, it can help them determine where a window is, uh, light coming in uh, through the window or where a doorway is, and essentially help them navigate uh, the world around them. And it's going to be challenging because you're, you're going to feel it with your hands and all that. Daniel Balavoine au Palais des Sports pour 8 jours à Paris, des chansons et toujours des idées bien à lui. Daniel Balavoine, invité de cette édition. Ce qui marrant, c'est qu'aujourd'hui, Daniel Balavoine, c'est l'anti-Starak, puisque là, on, 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 se, on se retrouve devant une classe de gamins qui chantent ses chansons, alors que lui, il a fait ses classes dans des groupes de rock, il a galéré, il a connu toutes les, les galères des groupes de rock des années 60. Oui, mais en même temps... Ah. Mais moi, je le sais, on avait des choses à dire. Et moi de me supporter, j'espère que vous avez aimé le disque et qu'il faut en faire partie de la discothèque que j'ai à la maison. Je suis journaliste, maman. L'édito des informations de 95.2 à 18h30. Deux minutes et demie par jour, ils m'ont donné. Je vous ferai remarquer, monsieur le président, que vous allez avoir du mal car j'ai des inconditionnels ici dans la salle. <rire> Ça peut changer. Ils sont venus avec des pieds. Tout savoir sur Daniel Balavoine. Balamed.skyrock.com